now in the reset password section you see that in the top i get the token and email in my hand right so in the reset password you see this is the url that means actually in this case i will have two parameters so first have the token i will receive and second one is email that i will receive from the url now uh, i am going to show you um, this one what will be happen so when i will just try to reset the password there i will have a form right so here actually return view and here it will be admin dot reset password so something like that admin dot reset password this is my view so um, as this is my view file here i will do one thing that is i am going to get the admin data so from the admin where what i will write here uh, and here it is suggesting me this so where email equal to email and token equal to token here you can use the fast or fast or fail that is not a problem at all so here i can use normally it's very easy simple fast and then this data i will get into the admin data here in this variable so in this variable i get the data if not admin data if i do not get any admin data then i will um for example a person give anything in the url he want to try to reset email he guess that admin email can be this but as he does not know the token so he will not be able to access the page so this is the protection i use here that is if not admin data that means email and token does not match in the database then what will be happen then it will show invalid token or email or something and redirect the user to the login page otherwise it will show the reset password uh, it will show the reset password means i have the reset password blade file already so i am going to open the blade file that is into here admin here you see reset password dot blade dot php here you see there is nothing i am going to copy the forget password paste data here and in the reset password paste it it will be reset password and here it will be reset password so this is the thing so head me admin reset password submit will be here and in the case of password here this will be password and also type will be password placeholder is password and another one will be retype password or confirm password this is the placeholder and here the name will be password confirmation or something like that and submit no back to login page i am going to close this admin reset password submit so in the web.php i will have to put here another one that is like the forget password submit so i am going to copy this one from here paste it here this will be reset password submit admin controller this is reset password submit and here will be reset password submit and in this case where there is admin not here after submitting this one uh, i will have uh, in the controller that will be a reset password submit so i am going to put it here that is reset password submit and this will be request of request and there i will work so first check it if the form comes here you see there is a form it is coming here but uh, i am going to copy this for example if you change anything here you will not be able to access this space right only the password and token will be matched and then you will be able to see this space so here how i can submit um, this but before going there i am going to do one thing that is admin reset password submit you can also send the data here for example you can pass the uh, parameters here or alternately you can pass using the hidden field whatever you want you can do that so here i am going to uh, pass that token value is for example token value and here the field name is token token and another one is email so this will be email and this will be email because this two data i will have in my 
controller this method reset password submit in this method i will have those information so this is the trick to send the data from here or alternately you can send the data here if you uh, send the data here using the parameter then you will have two more parameter here and also in the web.php route here you will have to use the slash token and email um, like before so i am not going uh, to use that method i am going to make it very simple so first request validate so okay so request and validate what will be validated one is password not confirmed here it is password and you know another field name is password confirmation and this will be required and same as password so like this okay so the two passwords should be same otherwise there will be an email uh, there will be an error and if everything is okay so i put the data again from here where email equal to request of email and request of token because from this form i get the data token and email variable that is coming here as a request and the admin data i get here and so i will update the admin data so here admin admin data of password i am going to change the password right so this password equal to hash make request password i am because i am going to um, change the password now and another one is token the token will be empty here and after that i will update the data and when everything is okay then i will return redirect and it will back me to the password reset successfully and admin login page so let's check it i am going to refresh um, there is undefined variable token where is token here Mm, this is the token here undefined because i did not pass here mm, in the view i will have to pass the data using the compact so here i use the compact of token and sorry it will be like this token and email these two data i will have to pass otherwise it will not work so i pass the data from here okay mm, so let's refresh it again I am going to click on submit password field required to, uh, password confirmation field required okay if i give uh, two password two types submit uh, here never i give okay the password confirmation field must match the password now if i give um, the good password one two and one two click on submit password reset successfully so, and now if i go to here you will see that the password is changed token is empty again now if you try uh, to access the previous one that comes in this email click here you see it is taking you back to the login page so you will not be able to access the reset page again so what i will do i am now going to log in using the previous uh, password one two three four you cannot do that and the password i change here is one two if i give one two and then click on login yes i can log in now so in this way the reset password works perfectly.